A trip to Disney is a trip like no other. It's a place we've grown up seeing on TV. Uh, A place that uh, as kids we envisioned with the Sunday afternoon shows that uh, were on somewhere around dinner time. It's a place that's been created around the fantasy of everything that children would want. And if we'd only had the opportunity when our children were younger, we certainly would have liked to take them there. But getting to America from Australia is not cheap, and certainly taking three children into Disneyland is not a cheap option either. So it became a matter of taking up this marvellous opportunity between just me and my darling wife, Cindy. The Disney precinct is not small. In fact, it would be better described as huge. And you've got a choice of several kingdoms to go and see. For us, probably as a means of reliving our childhood a little bit, we thought best that we go to the magical kingdom. The Magical Kingdom offers pretty well everything you expect it would have and probably quite a bit more. I think my wife clocked up something in the vicinity of 25,000 steps over the day. We got there as early as possible so to not miss out on anything and the lines were substantial during the day but as the evening came on we found it easier and easier to get on a ride or an event without too much trouble. Looks like the Robins are getting ready to celebrate Valentine's Day today. What year is it? Oh, right around the turn of the century. Believe me, things couldn't be any better than they are today. It'll scare them away. Well, dear, if that happens, you'll always have that torch you can carry for them. So the resident flying ace can show you how it works. And at times we found ourselves lining up for an event, not even knowing what it was. In this particular case, we found ourselves getting photos with a princess having stood in line for probably 10 minutes on this one to get in the door we thought we could hardly turn around and though I was doing everything I possibly could to uphold my masculine stature and keep some sense of pride throughout the event I'm pretty convinced that come the end of it Cinderella had me believing that she was the real deal This commemorated 50 years of Disney World in Orlando and come nightfall when it was dark enough to really appreciate the cinematics they put on this somewhat startling fireworks display. The fireworks went for so long that we actually decided to go and find something else to do while it was going off.
It amazes me somewhat to think that the whole of Disney started with, of course, just one man and his vision, the vision of Walt Disney.